Hey, welcome back to your favorite technical mathematics class. We're getting into chapter 13, angles and their measures. Let's talk about some angles here. Acute angles just means you have an angle that's less than 90 degrees. You know, here's a 90 degree angle, right? That's 90 degrees. So as long as you're less than that, you're an acute angle. If you're more than that, this one's obviously more than 90 degrees, like say 120 degrees or whatever, that'd be obtuse. Obtuse is more than 90 degrees. Adjacent angles just means you're next to, so you see how this angle and that angle, they're right next to each other. So the common vertex, common side, vertical angles are equal. Okay, so if you have two lines with vertical angles, uh, let's take the top one here and this bottom one here, those are opposite. So, uh, so if that one's 100 degrees, this one's also got to be 100 degrees. If this one's 80 degrees, this one over here is going to be 80 degrees. So vertical angles are equal. Supplementary angles, so they sum, they're on a straight line, and they sum up. So this 60 degrees and this 120 degrees, they sum up to 180 degrees. Whereas complementary corner, those add up to 90. So you see the 25 and the 65 add up to 90. So first example here, find the measure of the complement of 30 degrees. So if you've got a 30 degree angle, you know, what's its complement? What's this have to be? Well, if they both add up to 30, let's call it x. 30 degrees plus x has got to be 90 degrees. So x has got to be 60 degrees when you subtract 30 from both sides. That's got to be 60 degrees. That's the complement of 30. Now, the supplement, so if you have a 30-degree angle, supplement means they add up to 180 total, 180. So that's got to be 150 degrees. So the supplement of 30 degrees is 150 because they add up to 180 degrees on a straight line. So let's use a figure here to determine the measure of FBA. So FBA is right here. That's what we're trying to get to. So let's write in the uh, information that's given. So CBD, C to B to D, is 65 degrees. And FB, FB is parallel to DB. So right here, that makes a 90 degree angle. And AC is parallel to BE. So this makes a 90 degree angle as well. So if it makes a 90 degree angle, what's this angle right here? Well, 65 plus 25 gives you 90, so that's 90. And now I'm looking at these two right here. You know, so what's this one have to be? Well, that's got to be 65 degrees because 60, so 65 and 25 add up to 90, and those two are perpendicular. They add up to 90 degrees. So that finally leaves us with this one over here, these two. Add up to 90. So 65 plus what? So this has got to be 25 degrees. F, B, A must be 25 degrees. So you just kind of work the figure. Here's another one. Turn the measure of angle 4 and angle 3. I would start at that 140 degrees, and I would say, well, if this is uh, 140 degrees and uh, angle what would angle 1 be? Well, angle 1 and 140 degrees add up to 180. So this one's got to be 40 degrees right there. And then they tell us angle 1 and angle 2 are the same. So angle 2 right there has got to be 40 degrees. Well, if angle 2 is 40 degrees, and over here you've got vertical angles, so angle 4 has got to be 40 degrees. So angle 4 has got to be the same as angle 2. 40 degrees, right? And remember, they told us that angle 1 and angle 2 are the same. So this one, again, is 40 degrees. Now notice, these two are supplementary, supplementary angles. So angle 3 plus angle 4 are supplementary. They add up to 180. We already know angle 4 is 40 degrees. So angle 3, once you subtract 40 from both sides, be 140 degrees. So there's angle 3 and angle 4. Now let's talk about corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are when you have two lines that are perpendicular and a transversal cutting them. Okay, So um, since they're perfectly perpendicular, these two, that means the transversal is making some angles that are the same. 
So like angle A would be the exact same angle as angle E down here. Those are called corresponding angles. Angle B, whatever that is, is going to be the exact same as angle F. Okay, again, those are corresponding angles. Angle C, bottom left here, would be the same as the bottom left here. G, C, and G are the same. Those are corresponding. And finally, D would correspond with H. Okay, so those so corresponding angles are equal. That's it for this uh, assignment. If you want to start the homework, talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.